Hey everyone, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. One of the main headaches from starting any new game in a heavily modified version of Skyrim is setting up all the MCM menus. If you're like me, you probably have dozens of MCM settings to work through every time you start over. Well, a new mod called MCM Recorder aims to make this headache go away with a few simple clicks once MCM Recorder is fully set up. I'll discuss installation and load order, then give a quick demonstration of its use, and then dig into the files to show what's going on. We'll then show some advanced steps that may be of use to mod pack creators. Enough with the preamble, let's get going! All right, here we are at the desktop. We've got mod organizer right up and going, but the mod that we're going to discuss is called MCM Recorder. It is mod number 61719. And in the mod author's name is Morale Per. And this is called MCM Recorder, very easy MCM configurations. And I would say this is one of my favorite new mods. You can already see I've endorsed it. But when you scroll down and you take a look at it, you can see configuring MCMs have never been easier. That's very good. And it's a relatively new file. Uh, original upload is the 10th of January, not that long ago. And when people in my uh, Twitch streams asked me to look at it, I said I would do so. And I will say that I really thought this was well done. I thought it was simple, easy, well put together. And I wanted to put a video on it so you guys could see it. The mod author actually did her own video on MCM Recorder. Her name is Morale Per. She has her own YouTube channel. I would suggest playing this video or even going to the YouTube link that's included so that you can give her views and give her a proper thanks for the mod and to both comment here on the Nexus and on her YouTube page so you can thank her for this if you do enjoy it. There are some instructions here on how to record with the configuration settings and applying the MCM configurations. There is an FAQ. I would encourage you to read this, but I will be going over it very briefly and quickly in game so that you can see how it works. But there is a lot to this and we'll be going a little more in depth at her video here, but she does a very good job of explaining it and it's very simple to do. And I will let you know that. So on the download page, MCM recorder, it is an ESPFE file, so it doesn't count against your plugin limit. And you can see support for keyboard shortcuts and VR gestures, messages if J containers and Papers Util is not installed, which brings us back to the description. And the requirements are Papers Util SE, Sky UI, and UI extensions. The offsite requirement is J containers. If you need to have that, you can grab the one for SSE, but from what I can see, this should work if you have the anniversary edition of both these mods, but there is no separate mod page for anniversary edition. With using J containers and Papyrus Util with the correct versions, you should be able to get this to work for anniversary edition or the pre-anniversary edition version of SSE. So it should work either way. I've not tested with Anniversary Edition because I don't have a full install ready to go. When you see me running it, it is pre-Anniversary Edition. Just want to let you know. When you download this with the Mod Manager, you'll, you'll get this in your download. And I will tell you, you can basically put this anywhere you want. There's not a lot to it. When you open this up and look at it manually, it's just scripts and an mcmrecorder.esp. And in testing, I basically opened it up in SSE edit and looked at it in loot. It's not going to make a difference where you put it because there are no conflicts with it. In SSE edit, there was one minor lighting conflict. So you can basically put it anywhere you want. And it, the lighting cell that was affected is one that is hidden that you'll never see in the game. But if you looked at it in loot, it would list it as a default for your group's configuration. Leave it in default, you'll be fine. You should be placing your lights much farther down and it'll overwrite what the MCM recorder is doing in that one particular cell that's hidden from the game. So you should be fine, put it anywhere. Plugins, 
let loot handle it. I did, and I just it just ended up putting it about midstream on my load order. No problems there. Just be aware of those two issues. It does use Pepper's Util scripts, and it has a plugin, but it is not an SKSE mod. But I put mine up relatively high. Just it's more for categorization purposes than anywhere in particular. As you can see, it doesn't have any conflicts or any overwrites to be concerned about. To briefly explain how it works and to see it in action, we're going to jump into game and very quickly how to show you how it works. But I'm basically doing in the initial setup exactly how Morale Per describes in her video. But you can skip this forward if you want. But I do later on go into a little more advanced stuff and explain what's going on within the mod itself and explain the why because that's what we do not just the how but the why all right we'll try to make this as brief as we possibly can we have coc into riverwood and after installing mcm recorder all you have to do is open up your mcm obviously and you'll go down and find mcm recorder there it is when you first have it you'll see mcm's recording settings you will have a blank when you first start out nothing there and all you have to do to get started recording the mcm recorder is click on highlight this portion right here click to begin recording and it has a begin recording when you click on it it'll ask you to name it and we're just going to name this test make sure we do it very simply accept and you'll get a message recording started you can now interact with mcm menus and all interactions will be recorded when you're finished return to this page to stop the recording or quit the game Recordings are saved in simple text files instead of data MCM recorder, which you can edit to tweak your recording without completely re-recording re it. Very cool. Let's do it. And now we can do it. So we can go ahead and exit out. And the MCM recorder will still keep recording even if you're out of the MCM menu. So let's go back in and we'll set some things. Uh, let's just do a matter of time. Very simple thing to record. And we can choose presets. We'll shit off the the UI elements that we have currently. And then we'll go back in and choose something else. How about iHUD? We'll just click on activation. We'll change a hotkey to something else. We'll make that I for I, just because we have it. Um we're looking at an object, different things. We can go over to options and stealth indicator enabled. Nope, turn that off. Go to transparencies and we'll just make a few changes there. We'll just drop that down to 75. Just so we can see it actually work in action. Okay, you can see all the transparency are now set at 75. We've only changed two MCM menus, but that's okay. That's all we need for testing. Let's go ahead back to the MCM recorder in the mod configuration menu. Currently recording and stop recording. And now you can see we have choose recording to play test by adventure because this is a COC character. It's just named by adventurer. The name is not that important to the end product and we'll be discussing more of that later on. Or you could have just stopped the game at any point. We're just going to QQQ out of here. We exited all the way back out and we're back in again. Now, every time you start a new game, in this case, we're just going to COC back into Riverwood. And once again, we're back in Riverwood because you can tell it's a different day and a different save and a new character because number one, it's snowing here in Riverwood and the matter of time elements are back on my screen. We can get in, go into the MCM and go down to MCM Recorder. You see the MCM recordings and you have choose recording to play and you play test. And it's gonna tell you test 1.0.0 by adventure steps two, close the MCM to continue. You will be prompted to play this recording. You will also be able to preview all recording steps or play in an individual one. You'll also be given the opportunity to, re to continue the recording would you like to continue? Yes. Close the MCM menu. Yes, we will. 
And you can see automatically we have this window right here. You can run the recording, which will set up the two MCMs above, Matter of Time and Immersive HUD. Or you can view the steps for each of the individual ones. You can do that to the each one individually. You can add it to the recording. If you've already done another step, you can add it to a different recording or you can cancel out together. We're going to run the recording. You can see in the upper left, you see what the MCM recorder is doing. And it's configured matter of time and immersive HUD test has finished playing. And you can tell right away because the matter of time UI elements in the upper left are gone. So let's go back to the MCM and just double check that it did it correctly. We know that a matter of time is right here at the top. General and our selections, we knew that because the UI elements are gone. And then immersive HUD. You see activation. It still has the hotkey for I. That's my chosen hotkey for immersive HUD. And the options are stealth indicators turned off and our transparencies are all set to 75. That's all very fascinating, but what did it give us in the files? And that was what I was really interested in. Let's go take a look. Here we are back at our desktop. Now, obviously we have something in our overwrite and I can guarantee that is from MCM Recorder. Let's go look at the overwrite. And there it is, MCM Recorder. You can see test.json, test, immersive HUD, and a matter of time. Test is the name of the MCM recorder save, we called it. So let's go ahead and close that down and we want to place the contents of our overwrite into MCM recorder. And we're going to send that to move con to mod and MCM. And we just place it in the MCM recorder. Okay, now we can take a look at MCM recorder in our explorer and see what we actually got. You can see the original scripts in the ESP that's from when we installed it, and then the MCM recorders right here. And you see, we created a recording called test, and it's also created a JSON file called test. What does the JSON file have that's called test? When we open that up with Notepad++, we can simply say its author is Adventure, that is the COC Riverwood, that's what they name all the characters. Auto run is false. Name is test, just like we named it inside the MCM when we ran our first MCM recording in version 1.0.0. Okay, inside of the folder called test, we see that you have two JSONs individually named for the mod that it's, it's configured. If we open up a matter of time with Notepad++, you will see a very simple text formatting of what it actually is configured with. In other words, these are elements within the MCM and it will show the different things we did. You see a matter of time, AMOT show, AMOT page general, toggle off right there, toggle it off. And you can see that repeated all the way down. For immersive HUD, over with Notepad++, you can see the iHUD hotkey activation, shortcut 23, that is the indication for I. And then you have the indications for stealth indicator enabled, off, and the different transparencies with their values that you have set at 75. So it's a pretty simple thing. And that got me to thinking, couldn't you merge these together? Yes, you can. Let's try it. We're going to go back into game one more time. Okay, we're back in game again. Once again, a COC, new start. You can see the elements from a matter of time in our upper left. Let's go ahead and try something new. Let's go ahead and go into mod configuration. We're going to go down to the MCM recorder. And in recordings, you can still see our original test. But we're going to do something new. We're going to test, create a one called test two. Test two. Make it a little easier for me to differentiate the two. Test two. Begin recording. Yep, get the same message as before. Press OK. And this time we are just going to do one thing. Uh, let's pick... Uh, how about... Immersive Creatures of Skyrim. That That's a very simple one to do. Because we can just click a couple things and see it for ourselves. Go into General. 
and we'll just go ahead and select preset version. We'll just select purist. Make this a very simple thing. We can just go ahead and close out of the MCM and quit the game with QQQ. Remember, we can just quit the game at any time and the recording will end. And once again, we have something in our overwrite. We'll double check it. It is the MCM recorder and is test two with the folder that contains the one configuration JSON for immersive creatures. We're gonna go ahead and send that to MCM recorder as well. Move content mod, MCM, MCM recorder. Now press okay. And that's been moved into there. You can see now we have a combined with test, the original test, test two, the JSONs for both the test and the test two. And inside of those, we have the different configuration JSONs for all the different mods we've actually set up an MCM for. And during my Twitch stream, when I tested this, one of the chat members of the chat mentioned that couldn't you make a, a custom one just off the information that you have here. And that got me kind of interested because if you were a mod creator and you wanted to also end up with a MCM configuration file, you could do that. If you were creating a Nexus collection that were a mod pack of all the different mods, you could have a custom MCM recorder JSON file ready to go so somebody could add that to their collections or for Wabajack the same way, a mod pack, and you already have a MCM recorder file set with all of the preferred MCM presets. So let's go ahead and do something here. Let's open this up in Explorer. And you can see we have all of the stuff we talked about. You have the folders for test with a matter of time and immersive HUD JSONs. We have test two that only has immersive creatures. We open that with a notepad plus plus. We'll just take a look at it. Yep, it's the one thing we talked about, purist. And we have the original test. This is the original recording for test. And we have test two that only contains it only points to test two folder. I'm going to do something real fast here. I'm going to take this entire folder. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to place it on my desktop. That gives me a working copy that I can do outside of my organizer. Let's open this up again. Now, if we remember the file format for the original test, let's open that up with Notepad++ again. You can see it's Adventurer. Auto run is false, name test, because it corresponds with the folder test up in this one right here, and then version 1.0.0. Inside of that folder, we have a matter of time, JSON, and immersive HUD, JSON. Those are the configs for the individual MCMs. You can see they're numbered 0001 and 0002. Inside of test two, you'll see 0001 immersive creatures.json. So let's say we wanted to create a new file. We're going to create test two. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste it back in. You see now it's test two copy. Let's go ahead and rename that to test three. You see now we have test three. We open that with Notepad. You can see the author is adventure, but that can be changed to any character. We can just make him Naked Nord Guy. If you're familiar with my stream, you know Naked Nord Guy is the name of the character. We always name our guy. Auto run set to false. Name is going to be changed as well. We're going to call this the NNG or Naked Nord Guy. And version one, that's simply the something that is a naming convention, and you can change that to whatever you want. If you want to change it, have a different version for NNG, you can change it to 0.0.1. .0 you can change that naming convention. If you're a mod author, a mod pack creator, you could change these different versions. So what we need right now, because we've changed the name of the folder to NNG, we now need a new folder in here, create a new folder, and we're going to name it NNG. We now have an NNG folder with nothing in it. If we go into test the original one and we have these two JSON files, we can copy those and place them in NNG. Go back into test two that only has immersive creatures, copy it and place it in NNG. Folder here for 
test three. We forgot to rename that, and we need to change that. Rename it to NNG. The NNG is says that the author is now Nick Nord guy. Auto run is false. Name NNG pointing to the NNG folder that we just created and put those in. And technically, we could test this and see if it works. So, what we're going to do is take NNG and the NNG JSON, copy both of those, close that down, go back into Mod Organizer, open MCM Recorder, hit Explorer, go into MCM Recorder, and paste those two in. Now we've created a brand new folder for the MCM Recorder to run the save off of. Let's go ahead and run the program again one more time and we'll go in and take a look to see if it works. Now we've consoled ourselves into Riverward for the fourth and last time we're going to open up the MCM and see if this all works. Mild configuration, MCM Recorder, into recordings. Now you see we have our original test, we have test two, and we have Ed NG or Naked Nord Guy. Naked Nord Guy steps three. Okay. I'd like to continue. Yes. Close the MCM menu. And you see it has Naked Nord Guy. Steps three a matter of time, immersive creatures, and immersive hub. Would you like to play the recording? Yes. And it's configuring those three steps. You can see the naming conventions for 001 and 001 again, and then 002. But it doesn't really have any effect on what you're doing with that. It will order in those ways, but nothing to be worried about. It's just a basic thing. If you want to reorder the number in which they ran, you could do that when you're editing the text files. And NG has finished playing. And if we go back to the MCM, we'll just go and check. We know that a matter of time has been turned off because we see that in the UI elements and then immersive creatures, purist, and iHUD with the appropriate transparency so we know it all worked. Now back at our desktop, we're going to do something very interesting. We're going to open up the MCM recorder and Explorer at this time and Explorer, please. And we're going to take everything that's inside of this folder and we're going to delete it. Yes, we're going to delete it. Even all that hard work that we went into doing this. And on our desktop, we have MCM Recorder. And we're going to delete everything in here except for EdNG. We're just going to do a little demonstration. Get rid of all the test one and test two because we know EdNG works for Naked Nord Guy. And we are going to set this as an archive. We're going to create an archive with this. And we're going to call it MCM Recorder.rar. You can change the name, but we're just doing this for test purposes. That's okay. We now have a archive ready to go into Mod Organizer. You might be able to say, hey, I know where you're going with this. We're just going to drop that into our downloads. And there it is. Now, if you are a Mod Pack creator or a Nexus Collection creator, you have now set up a preferred archive to be uploaded to the Nexus based simply off of that. And that would be the naming convention is that you have to have a folder called MCM Recorder that comports with the file structure here. So you're actually adding the file MCM Recorder. And to have your users install it, you would simply right click it. You'll have a error in Mod Organizer. I don't know how Vortex works on this, but ignore this. The content of the data does not look valid. In this case, we're going to be merging it into the MCM Recorder. So this is the proper configuration. Remember that we're not inserting it into the data folder. We're simply inserting it into the mod MCM Recorder. Now, it will not accept it quite that way. So we're going to have to rename it. And this is have to make sure you have the proper spacing and everything for MCM Recorder. And when you press OK, this mod was not set up correctly. Yes, we're going to ignore that. And we want to merge it into MCM Recorder. There it is. And I guarantee that this works in testing. This worked every time. So that would be a very interesting purpose for MCM Recorder that you can actually set up a mod pack and then all of your MCM settings, if you included MCM Recorder in your mod pack, you could include a set of presets that your users can have 
all those MCN settings done and over with with one click through MCM Recorder. So MCM Recorder, one of my favorite new tools. I love tools. And MCM Recorder does things very easily. And I want to give the credit to Morale per the mod author, as I said. Make sure you watch her video so she gets the clicks on her page. Highly recommend it. I give it a Dirty Weasel Media thumbs up. That's all I've got for now. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off.